he's going to win because he already won. And anybody with the brain knows that the last four years have been an absolute joke. And, uh, you know, but it was the most secure election in all of history. Remember that, guys, the most secure election. I never remember anybody talking about secure elections when I was a kid. That never came up. No. And it, it was like they wanted to make sure you knew in advance, like, you know, it's like before you show up to the bank, I just want to let you know, this bank is very secure. And then you walk and all the money's gone. <laughs> right. And you're like, what? And they're like, the money's there. Yeah, and nothing like, suspicious yeah. happened it's in 2020 <laughs> at all. It was just an amazing year for all of us collectively, probably one of the best years of our lives. I think it was, uh, so. was it Kellyanne Conway on Bill Maher? <laughs> Did you see that clip? No. Where she says something to the effect of Trump won and then... Uh, they, you know, Bill Maher's like, no, he didn't. And then she's like, well, clearly he didn't. Look what we're dealing with. 20% inflation, 30% rent increases, 36% medical cost increases. You're right. Joe Biden's the president. Yeah. And then he's like, um, we'll, we'll get to all those things. It's like, I saw that Bill Maher trying to deflect. We'll, we'll, we'll get to those issues. And everyone laughs. And I'm like, no, you'll address them now. Mm -hmm. The point is Biden as president has just taken a dump all over the floor. The Afghanistan collapse was insane. There was no point for that. Now we're dealing with massive inflation. We're dealing, people can't afford anything. More importantly, we're dealing with all these insane stories about illegal immigration and yeah. young people can't afford uh, to buy homes. The crazy thing is, Nate Silver posted that poll, 18 to 29 year olds, their number one issue, immigration across all demographics. Now, how does that happen? Immigration? 18 to 29, because they can't buy houses. They can't get jobs. Mm -hmm. They can't find a place to live, even a rent. Well, and, and that's not, uh, no, that's why that they're they're all out there protesting is because they can't find jobs. I t I'm telling you, if these people had good jobs and were making good money and could buy homes, they wouldn't be out there with poster boards. Okay? Well, and well, that, the thing, too, that, is you have, I, like, in Idle Mich hands, devil's playground. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you have in Michigan and all kinds of other places, you have landlords being given subsidies to rent to illegal immigrants. Right. And it's like, if I was trying to rent an apartment in New York and these people who just got there, who just, like, cross the border and got off the plane or the bus or whatever with their free stuff and no identification and whatever else. Yeah. And they're getting like $500 free from the government. It's like without Let's, having to go through Section 8.